Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously, we went through the, um, I can't remember what it's called, account activity. We went through this page. This, this thing here. We went through this. And now today we're going to go through redownloadable yeah, re software. And then continue going on the setting, going through the settings slash other part of the eShop. Um, now, at the top it says redownloadable, redownloadable software. Select the up, select the updated software you want to download, redownloadable software for. This one's not applicable. This one's also not applicable. I'm going to guess these two are Netflix and YouTube, give or take. And then we have Dinosaur Office and Swap Note. Let's go into Dinosaur Office. Um, and then there's the logo Dinosaur Office with the backwards facing R at the end, backwards facing capital R. Title is Dinosaur Office. Downloadable video release date to be determined. And here's some screenshots in the logo Dinosaur Office. And the bottom screen is some sort of pattern. Not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. We've got dinosaurs with party hats looking at the camera. And then we've got some dinosaurs at a table. And the wall behind them is broken. Kind of like the, um, the Kool-Aid Man ads. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's more like on the Kool-Aid Man side of things than on the H-Bomber guy side of things. If you understand, if you know kind of what I mean by that. On the amount of wall breakage. Dinosaur Office, Publisher, College Humor. Oh, I thought it was Nintendo. I know it would be them. Genre, Other, Languages, English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. What type of person is it suited for? Everyone, 70%. What type of game is it? Su casual play, 65%. Related genres, other. Swap note. Software info. I already showed this before. But you can re-download it from there. On the re-download screen. Yeah, I showed that like two, maybe three videos ago. Your downloads. I wonder what's in here. Oh, this is what I've downloaded already. See a list of titles you have downloaded. Downloaded titles. 15. My Nintendo Procross, Twilight Princess, Netflix. Oh, you can re-download it from there. Interesting. That's weird. Ocarina of Time 3D. Mario and Luigi Dream Team update. Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Flipnote Studio 3D update available. Smash 3DS Special Demo, Zelda NES, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, Photos with Mario, oh yeah, I remember that's the icon that it displays. Four Swords Anniversary Edition, Mario Land 2, YouTube, oh, you can re-download it from there. Dinosaur Office, Swap Note, that's it. Where is... Where is... Oh, there's Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Never mind. I was wondering where it was. Um, I got confused. I thought I just saw the demo or the update and then got very confused. Your ratings. And we have uh, on the top screen it says your ratings. And on the bot, and it says here you can see the software you have submitted ratings for. And on the bottom screen, it shows The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition and Mario and Luigi Dream Team. If you remember, we just did those a few, we just reviewed those a few episodes ago, a few parts ago. And then there's a button that says Delete Ratings. And then if you tap on one of them, it will show you how you rated it. So Four Swords Anniversary Edition, 
um, just has all the stuff there, and Dream Team has all the stuff, stuff there. What if I delete, click delete ratings? It says this will delete all of the user ratings you have submitted. This data cannot be recovered once deleted. Are you sure you want to delete your user ratings? No. Next one. Home menu notifications. The top screen says home menu notifications. You can choose whether or not to receive Nintendo eShop notifications, which may include commercial information such as marketing or advertising messages. Uh, such notifications will be sent by Nintendo via Spot Pass and will appear on the home menu. That's when the eShop is closed. Or the that's when the 3DS is closed, if you have Spot Pass turned on. Would you like to um, opt in to receiving these notifications? Receive notifications? Oh, that's these are the notifications I showed you in the top part there. You can either do receive or do not receive. You will now receive notifications from Nintendo eShop. You can change this setting later. What if I turn it off? You will not receive notifications from Nintendo eShop. You can change the setting later. Software recommendations from Nintendo. Software uh, on the top screen it says software recommendations from Nintendo. Please read the information on the lower screen carefully. Software recommendations from Nintendo information sharing. You can opt into sharing information about your Nintendo eShop page viewing history, purchase history, and the titles that you have added to your wishlist. If you opt in, the information that you share with Nintendo may be used to improve the Nintendo eShop service, make software recommendations to you, and as reference when developing new products. Do you wish to share this information with Nintendo? No or yes. I'm going to say no. Your usage information will not be sent to Nintendo. And then I assume the other one is just, it will be sent to Nintendo. Language settings. Link, top screen says, oh, and this one has like a pop-up dialogue rather than like an actual page. That's kind of weird. Here you can set the language uh, in which Nintendo eShop is displayed. Select the language you want to use. The only options are English and Spanish. Which is weird. I would imagine that they would add in more than just Spanish. English and Spanish, because that's like, I mean, sure, those are the two most common languages in the U.S., but I mean, wouldn't you think that they would put in more than just two? It's kind of weird. Location settings. Oh, this is where you can put in your address. Your address is set to the following. I'm blocking all that out. This information on the upper... The information on the upper screen is used to calculate sales tax. To change your saved address, tap change address. So if we do that, then it'll just go in, in there. What happens if I push delete? Delete your address information? No. Um, about, about Nintendo eShop. How much is there? Oh, about Nintendo eShop. Please read the information on the lower screen carefully. Nintendo eShop is a service that allows you to download demos, purchase licenses for Nintendo and third-party software, and find information about Nintendo and third-party products and services. In addition to these benefits, you can opt in to receive commercial updates on Nintendo and third-party products and services via notifications on your Nintendo 3DS home menu. If you want to stop receiving these messages at any point, you can opt out by tapping settings slash other from the Nintendo eShop main menu and selecting home menu notifications. If you provide Nintendo with user ratings about products and services provided by Nintendo or its third parties, Nintendo may use such inf information on an anonymous basis to create informational messages and share information about about products with consumers in the title information and search functions of Nintendo eShop prior to the purchase of a product license. The Nintendo 3DS service user agreement applies when using this service. You can view the user agreement on your Nintendo 3DS system or on our website at http colon slash slash www.nintendo.com slash consumer. Verify download status is the next thing. Verification complete, download status updated. I would have to go in here while I'm downloading something to show you what it looks like. Customer support. 
Oh, oh, that's interesting. It's a different scroll bar. Here, we. Sorry. Um, please read the information on the lower screen. If anything is unclear about Nintendo eShop, please visit the Nintendo website before contacting Nintendo. It has the Nintendo homepage, Nintendo customer support, general inquiries, where you can get online support, self-service support, customer service, and what times, customer service available in English, French, and Spanish. For inquiries regarding a specific title, please refer to the list of publishers, publishers below, or to that title's manual for contact information. Please note that individual publishers will not answer questions regarding game strategy or tips. And then this is just a bunch of publishers and their domains. I'm just going to kind of go down like this. The email addresses or websites. Oh, and then this one has a phone number, website, and email. It would be funny if one of them had an option for fax. Oh, that's a lot that Gameloft has, and it tells you when, when their customer support is available for Gameloft. Oh, Hudson Soft. I don't think support's available anymore. Next. Netflix. Oh yeah, I remember Netflix on the Wii apparently was working at some point recently. When I say recently, I mean like within the last six months or something. Oh, ReMedia has no contact information. Oh yeah, I remember it was actually working for some reason, which is, which is weird. And then it was reporting Netflix for a Wii. I think it's the disc version, not the Wii Shop Channel version. Said that it said that it didn't support the uh, iPad, like Netflix for iPad, some old version, which is weird because it's not an iPad. And then, oh, we're at the end almost. And then, there we go. Oh. When you tap this, it makes a noise. And you can just go up and down like that. You can just touch somewhere. Tap somewhere on the scroll bar and it will scroll there. Apparently someone at Netflix changed it so that it wouldn't even try to do that anymore and then couldn't use it anymore. Customer support, oh that's it. Alright. Next on the list is way over here on the left. Settings slash other, we were literally just in there. Oh, yeah. This is yeah, that's all the that menu. Add funds. I will go through this just to make sure it's the same. Whoops. Just to make sure it's the same. It should be. Add funds. Yeah. Add funds. It's the same. Rate titles. Yeah, this is the same as the. 
the other menu. Wish list. Search. Oh, with this search, you can only use filters. Charts. Ah, now this is different. Uh, on the top screen it says charts. View software and video charts. Select the chart that you want to view. Software charts, recent releases, your choices are recent releases, all software, recent ratings, all user ratings, and video charts, recently popular. So we're going to go to recent releases. Um, okay, Pokemon Crystal version, English version. Five stars. Oh, at the top it says software charts. Currently viewing, recent releases, all software. Number one is Pokemon Crystal version, and there's like a ribbon. Gold, and gold thing with a ribbon. Blue ribbon behind it on the top left. And this is just a vertically scrolling list. Pokemon Crystal, yellow. Oh, and when you touch one of them, oh, that's entirely a button. So it's like it turns orange. It's gray, and you press down on it and it turns orange. That looks very nice and satisfying. It looks very nice and visually satisfying. Yes, I like that very much. Filter by. We've got select the platform you want to view charts for. All software. Nintendo 3DS download, Nintendo DSiWare, Virtual Console, all. Let's do DSiWare. And we've got Photo Dojo, number one with four stars. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Minis March Again with four and a half stars at number two. I don't know how that works. And WarioWare Snapped at four stars. Yeah. You know. Let's go back into charts. Uh, reason ratings. So we've got Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, Kirby, Planet Robobot, uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, you know, recent ratings, all software, you know, that's very nice. But you have to go back into charts. Um, all user ratings, let's do that. Um, Japanese Rail Sim 3D. Travel of Steam, Legend of Zelda, Ballad of the Goddess, Yokai Watch 3, Legend of Zelda, Great Fairies Fountain theme. That's interesting. That's the, I guess that's the Wind Waker version because that's a Wind Waker Great Fairy. Make sure to check out my unfinished Wind Waker series. I'm kidding. You don't have to check it out if you don't want to. Uh, video charts, recently popular. Let's see how this shows up. Pokemon Bank Transfer, minute and 34 seconds. Recently popular. Pokemon Bank Transfer, Kirby Planet Robobot, Overview Trailer, 4 minutes 56 seconds, Tomodachi Life Wishlist Video, 2 minutes and 18 seconds, Pokemon Yellow Version Trailer, 29 seconds. Yeah, yeah that's ESRB, e ESRB E. So some things do show up as the rating, but others don't. So let's go into Pokemon Bank Transfer and see how that shows up. Okay, it just has the video here. We can go to software information. And then this takes us to Pokemon Bank. Oh, okay. This is... Okay, I guess I should read this. Pokemon Bank offers in-game purchases. Nintendo 3DS download only. Release date February 5th, 2014. In late March 2023, paid passes will no longer be offered for purchase, and the Pokemon Bank service will become available at no cost to users. For more information, please visit Pokemon.com bank. Pokemon Bank is an application and paid service with an annual fee of US $5, Canada $7.09, that will allow you to deposit, store, and manage up to 3,000 of your Pokemon in private boxes on the internet. It will be. I don't know if it is, but I assume that this was written before it was released. It will... 
It will be a powerful resource for players who like to obtain many different kinds of Pokemon, or for those who like to uh, raise many Pokemon in preparation for battles and competitions. Pokemon Bank also makes it easy to transfer Pokemon co from copies of Pokemon X, Y, Mega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun, Moon, Red, Blue, Yellow, uh, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, including the downloadable versions, to a single game. When you download Pokemon Bank, you can also download the free linked application, Poke Transporter. So here's screenshots. So here's Group Group 1, 100, Box 1, and a bunch of different Pokemon. And on the bottom screen, it, wait, box. I'm a little confused about what's going on here. I've never used this application, and I'm not sure why there's box one on top and box one on the bottom, but with different, with different Pokemon. So, but the cursor's on Pikachu on the bottom screen, and. Yeah, there's a list button and a save button. And it's apparently... And this is apparently Pokemon X or something. And the next screenshot shows uh, a chart of various Pokemon and their type, nature, and marking. And you can display Poke On the bottom screen it says you can display Pokemon by name. Move search condition electric. Oh, this is search results. And display all and go to Pikachu's box. Go to the box with this specific highlighted Pokemon. And that's it. Only two screenshots. Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Company, one player, genre application, languages, English, Spanish, and French. I really like the the theme in this in this application. Looks very nice. You may need an SD card. All these, all the Pokemon games on available on the 3DS are the only games from which you may transfer Pokemon directly into the Pokemon Bank. At least one of these games is required to use Pokemon Bank. In-game content available for purchase using in-game content available for purchase using stored account funds. Oh, it's available for purchase using the stored funds in the eShop account. I get it. Compatible features slash accessories. Nintendo Network ID and supports online play. Websites Nintendo website and Pokemon X and Y website. Oh, that's the first one I've seen with two websites. These ratings. For everyone, 50, 61%. What type of game is it? Casual play, 79%. Related genres, other. Related keywords, application, and Pokemon. Copyright 2013 Pokemon, 95 through 2013 Nintendo slash Creatures Inc. slash Game Freak Inc. Pokemon and Nintendo 3DS are trademarks of Nintendo. Nope. And there's that. Next one. Recent arrivals. Oh, okay. Um, on the top screen it says recent arrivals. Check out the latest software and videos. On the bottom screen says new software and latest videos. Let's go new software. Fragrant Story Update version 1.1 software update. Available now on Nintendo eShop. Mario Kart 7 update version 1.2. Oh yeah, I remember this. This one... I don't remember exactly what it did. Mario Kart 7 update version 1.2, December 13th, 2022. This is an update for the Mario Kart 7 game. This download does not contain the full version of the title. In order to use this update, you must have a full version of Mario Kart 7, which is sold separately. Downloading this update will resolve shortcut exploits in the following online multiplayer mode courses. Woohoo Loop, Maka Woohoo, and Bowser Castle 1. Starting May 16th, 2012, this update will be required for online multiplayer mode. You can still play single player or local multiplayer without installing the update. Once the update is complete, the update will be installed. The download is complete, the update will be installed automatically. The update will be visible under System Settings, Data Management, Nintendo 3DS, Add on Content. There will be no gift icon displayed on 
the home menu after the download is complete. When Mario Kart 7 is launched, version 1.2 will appear above the online multiplayer icon if the update was successful. Ver when Mario Kart 7 is launched, version 1.2 will appear above the online multiplayer icon if the update was successful. Deleting the update will require you to download it again to play multiplayer online. Mario Kart 7 Update Version 1.2 Publisher Nintendo Genre Updates Languages English It's an important update for It's an important update for Mario Kart 7 For Mario It's an This is an important update for Mario Kart 7 to resolve shortcut exploits in online multiplayer modes I think that this stuff was up there too Everyone Rate coming this shift you know. Ratings 3 People actually rated this Huh Interesting 3 only three uh, players rated it. What type of person is it suited for? Everyone 67%. What type of game is it? 67% casual play. Early genres, updates. And then the actual most recent game is Cosmo Ball 3D, Guardian, and then Guardians, and Metal Exterminators, and then Hunting and Camping in a Singularity. Sounds disturbing. Silver Falls, Ghoul Busters. That's actually pretty creative, calling it Ghoul Busters instead of Ghost Busters. Automaton Long. One star. A one, an actual one star game. Let's see how bad this is. new Nintendo 3DS. What? One one star rating. It's for everyone and it's for intense intense play. Okay, okay. And now we can go to latest videos. I like this music. Hotel Transylvania video. I didn't know that there was a game for Hotel Transylvania. A uh, Slime Slayer trailer with song lyrics. Without Escape trailer, let's chop. Persona Q2, New Sin Labyrinth trailer. Okay, now back. Recent arrivals. News! There are currently no news items. If you wait long enough, there will be text up here. That will show up. Here we go. It is no longer possible to add funds directly to an account using this device. You can still add funds off device using a connected Nintendo account wallet until March 27th, 2023. To learn more, visit support.nintendo.com slash 3DS slash eShop. That's all that there is there. And then here's games. But that's all we're gonna do for this part. So in the next part, we're gonna go through this list here. Um, and then this one. So um, goodbye for now. <laughs>